of the week is just an annual weed, so you think, oh, no big deal. But boy, this one is common ragweed. We see it continuing to spread across much of the Midwest. Okay, a couple of problems here. One, it can cause some allergy problems for some people, and two, it's becoming resistant to Roundup. Yeah, and that Roundup resistance is a real challenge, but the good news here is you can go Liberty, you can go Extend, maybe Enlist if that's labeled at some point. Also, use pre-emerge herbicides. Use the three pre's in soybeans. That's really going to help a lot. Well, here's what we've seen, Brian, is that we relied on Roundup, Roundup, Roundup for many years. Now we got Roundup resistance. We see other guys that are doing first rate, first rate, first rate every time they've got a ragweed problem. And I'm really concerned about that. It's not working in some cases. Now we see on the corn side, HPPD is being used over and over and over again. One mode of action all by itself repeatedly. We're just heading down the wrong road with some of these herbicide choices. Right, definitely. So when I think about corn, sure you can throw an HPPD in there, but have other modes of action too. Personally, I'd just as soon you go with something like Verdict to begin with, then follow post emerge with status. If you want to throw an HPPD in somewhere, you certainly can, but again, multiple modes of action is the key. We don't see common ragweed being a huge issue in wheat, but when it is, we can start with Sharp and Pre, do a really nice job on ragweed control, reducing the population, not killing 100%. But then post-emerge, we've got some awesome options. I really like Husky. All right, well, that's it for our Weed of the Week Common Ragweed. Stay tuned, Iron Talk is coming up next.